Hi everyone, Coach Jorge. Uh, now that a lot of you are either becoming more interested in lactate testing, you're doing a lot of the testing that we're doing, and you're even getting some of your own uh, lactate meters to uh, track these in training, I wanna do a quick video just explaining the proper procedure to get good sampling data, good uh, uh, testing results, because otherwise uh, you might be start to uh, waste a lot of these uh, strips that are the most expensive parts probably of the uh, ongoing testing So we want to make sure that you don't do that So before I go into detail teaching you how you take a good sample every time that you're uh, testing Obviously, you're gonna need a lactate meter. So the one that we recommend is the uh, lactate plus it's a um, More popular around and it's the one that you can uh, get a sample in about 10 seconds or so so it's pretty good uh, obviously, you're going to get or need some uh, testing strips. It has to be the same brand or compatible with this. So normally on the same website, you're going to get this. Uh, you're going to need some sort of alcohol uh, or soapy water so you can uh, actually clean the area uh, very well. Uh, you're going to need a Lancet device so you can actually uh, uh, poke uh, or create that particular uh, uh, small laceration that we're gonna take the blood sample. Obviously, if it's something like this, you're gonna need uh, the, the lancet itself that you put on the device, and then you're gonna need a bunch of paper towels, okay? Okay, so obviously you have your lactate meter, and again, you have the strips, so I'm gonna get just a little bit closer. The strips is gonna have a side where you're gonna take the sample and the other side where you're gonna put this into the meter. The one thing you wanna be careful is that you're not touching this side because you can pre-contaminate that area and then your uh, meter is gonna give you an error and then you're gonna just waste another strip. So basically, as uh, so I'm gonna do the test, preparation, it's key. So I would like to have a bunch of kinda like little paper towels that I already pre-cut because those are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna be uh, cleaning each sample. Then I'm gonna have a uh, bigger paper towel, which is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be using with alcohol throughout the test. So I'm gonna keep reusing this one, but for each sample, I'm gonna be using a fresh uh, dry paper towel. Uh, obviously you're gonna need each strip uh, or one strip per uh, sample you're gonna be taking. Uh, you're gonna need your Lancet device again, it's right here. In this particular case, I'm gonna uh, load it. Uh, this version is the One Touch Delica Plus. So I load it. I like these ones over the standard ones that they sell with uh, this uh, lactate meter because you can control the settings in terms of how deep or shallow you want each of the uh, of the uh, the lancets doing that problem. So obviously uh, I prefer that one, and that's pretty much it. So okay, one thing I forgot: uh, do not set your strips uh, just sitting outside or at least no more than a couple at a time because if this one sits for long outside they can also screw up a little bit your test you can get a bad reading so normally I have uh, a strip ready and I just put it on the uh, meter but I don't push it all the way in it's just kind of like sitting there so before I stop then I can actually start uh, taking the sample so I'm writing and then I stop and let's say I'm gonna take a sample. So if I'm doing this myself, I'm gonna be all sweaty, I'm gonna have, uh, you know, my fingertips are gonna be all contaminated. So the first thing I do is I tend to have a towel uh, next to me in which I can just dry my hands a little bit. Uh, I don't care that they're still contaminated, I'm just drying a little bit of the extra sweat. Then the first thing that I'll do is I'm gonna load a strip so you know now that your meter is on because it turns on, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and it's gonna stay on for about a minute or so. So I'm gonna use alcohol, and then the big towel, paper towel, that is gonna be the one I'm gonna use throughout the test, this I'm gonna be using to clean the area thoroughly. So in this case, I'm gonna use this finger, and I'm gonna clean it thoroughly, like it gets super wet, all over, I'm trying to remove as much of the oils on my skin, the sweat, all that stuff is gonna contaminate your sample and it's not gonna help you get it well, okay? So I do that and then uh, with a dry paper towel, I kinda like try to dry a little of the extra alcohol and then I go, load my uh, lancet and then I'm gonna take the quick sample. You can do it a little bit to the side of the finger because you're gonna get a better uh, flow so then I poke and then I get, I press and I have the first drop. 
So with my dry purple towel, I'm gonna clean very well the first drop, okay? Now press a little bit, and I wanna have kinda like a rounded, plummy type of uh, drop. The second one, I'm gonna clean it again very, very well. Clean it, clean it, clean it, okay? Now that it's clean, the third one, I'm gonna press gently, get a nice, plumb, uh, rounded, drop, blood drop, and then without touching my skin too much, I'm just gonna barely take the sample. I know I took a sample because he started counting, and now I can clean the rest. I can keep this paper towel while I'm waiting for my result, and then I'm gonna look at my result and see how that looks like. So right now I'm not doing a lot. My lactate even uh, can be a little bit higher when you're not doing as much because you're not reusing it. And uh, that's just a sample. You're gonna compare that to what normally you would have on your curve and see how close that is or not. A bad result most likely is gonna give you an inflated number. It might be one, two, three millimoles higher than normal. So that's bad. So I'm gonna keep using this um, uh, blood uh, that I already have. So if you look there, right, when it's kind of like rounded and it's keeping its structure, that would be a good clean sample. But if all of a sudden I start kind of like letting this kind of like move around and smear a little bit, that would be a bad uh, uh, blood drop to get a sample from because now it went into the skin, it probably got contaminated. So it's going to give you a different uh, result. So. The, remember, we're going to clean the first section or the first uh, area very well. Then we're going to use another uh, paper towel to clean it a little further. Then we're going to use a new, if you're using these ones, you want to always use new lancelets. Otherwise, you can contaminate and get something uh, and get in trouble. So pop, get a sample. And once you get a sample, you're going to clean the first or second, uh, I'm sorry, the first and second blood drop very well. You can clean extra if you can. And then the last one, you can actually get a good, plummy, rounded uh, uh, blood drop. And then when you're taking the sample, you're trying to not touch the skin. You're going to try to get as close to the skin so you just barely touch the blood drop. And that gives you a good sample. Once you're done, then you can just, on the back here, you press. It pushes the strip out. Uh, then right here so then that would help you discard it you're gonna discard your um, sorry I drop it you're gonna discard here your use uh, lancelet because you don't want anyone reusing it even you okay so you discard that so all those things you can throw away and then you can uh, get ready for the next sample all right so that pretty much it super simple as long as you prepare in advance a little bit with you know, how you're going to do the, the sequence of events of taking your sample. Uh, as long as you know uh, that, you know, you have a minute or so to take a good sample. Uh, you don't have to rush right away to get it as soon as possible because your lactate doesn't go down uh, as quick as sometimes we, th uh, we think it will. So uh, take your time. A minute is plenty to get a good sample. Prepare before the test so at least you can have certain things like uh, dry pepper towels, your alcohol towel that you're going to keep reusing through the test uh, and all of that. Okay, so prepare, practice. You might screw up a couple of uh, strips at the beginning, but the more you do it, you'll get a good process and then it will come second nature. All right, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll be in touch. Thanks. Train smart.